these? Wait, not these, this. <laughs> hey, what's up, Rad Fam? Ryan from the Rad Bike Adventure here, and this is a rock strap. And I took a pair of these around the world with me. It has 10,000 miles on it at least. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you my review of what I think about this strap and whether or not it might be a good thing for you to take on your next adventure. All right, let's roll. So a rock strap is basically replacing a bungee cord and it's like this ingenious little device here, which I'm going to show you how it works. They come in a pair and interesting history of the rock strap before we get into it. It was invented by an Australian man who was an engineer studying eye injuries. And apparently he saw that there was a ton of injuries coming from bungee straps because people would be using them and the recoil would hit them in the eye that's probably happened to you or maybe come close. So he invented the rock strap to avoid that because the recoil is much less when you have this piece of elastic here and this is just a piece of webbing. So there's no stretch on this piece at all. So we went on a trip around the world and I forgot to review these rock straps. And sometimes people would say like, oh, how's your bag attached there? It's not a bungee cord, it's not a tube. And we went to the beach yesterday and I had my stuff strapped down with my rock straps. Actually, this is just one. This isn't really the way you're supposed to use it, but you could use it this way. So these just live on your bike. These are already on here. So what I'm gonna do is attach the other ones. So we've got the bungee on one side and we could make it go here or there. It doesn't really matter. Obviously you don't want it to slip around too much, but for the purpose, I'll just put it there. It's easier to see it. Okay, so it just slips through like that quite easily. And the one here. Lots of okay. So here are the rock straps in their neutral position. By the way, that's R-O-K, rock, as I like to call them, rock strap. Okay, so the way you're really supposed to use these is you're gonna put your gear more like this and then strap it down. And what I really like about this is that you can always get like a really nice tight cinch on your gear, All right? And on our trip, I had a bigger bag, so this was more used up, but of course, just tie that away, depending on how you're gonna, how much gear you're gonna have under there. Just do it like that. It's just so nice because I feel like with bungee cords, you always have to get like the perfect tension and you don't know where the thing is and you're like trying to hook it somewhere. With this, it's just right on there all the time. <laughs> you don't have to worry about like, how am I gonna loop it through? And you can just cinch it down really, really, really tight and know that it's not gonna come undone and you're not gonna get whipped in the face by a bungee cord. Cause when you wanna unstrap it, you just pop it off. And it's really nice. You can get your gear off super, super fast and easily. So I would definitely recommend these rock straps if you're doing a more traditional tour, just because ease of use, like I said, really lightweight, but strong. That That's the thing I was really amazed at because when I first ordered these, I was like, oh, this is kind of thinner than I was imagining, but they're actually really, really strong and they've held up as if they're new besides where I, you know, tattered them myself in my wheel, but even still holding strong. And yeah, I can't say enough good things about them. If you're looking for a way to strap something to a rack, a one downside for these straps, which is you have to do something with them. Otherwise they're probably going to get caught in your spokes when you're riding. You just have to be really careful. That is what happened here. I didn't realize that one of them wasn't strapped down and this got caught in my spokes and ripped in half. Thank goodness it did not not rip because I probably would have gone flying off my bike, uh, but I just repaired it there and hey, it's still going strong. So what I usually do, this is kind of a quick little hack is you just put it around your seat post like that. And obviously you'd want to like tie this up if you needed to, but that is a really easy way to keep your straps from dangling down. And like I showed earlier, you can actually just use that to put your stuff underneath. By the way, these straps are the uh, bike touring straps. They are also made in like a thicker webbing. This one is 42 inches at its maximum length. They also make ones that are 60 inches. And then there's another smaller commuter strap that is I believe 24 inches. They run about 15 to $20 per pair. And they're actually really common in the motorcycling world. So a lot of touring motorcyclists use these straps. So that to me shows that they are very, very durable. Oh yeah, they, they also come in a few different colors. So that's kind of fun too. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, rocking the rock straps on my beach rig. 
All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, if you found it helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And I will put a link in the description below to uh, the rock strap. So if you're interested in having a strap like this as an alternative to a bungee or using a tube, then I would highly, highly recommend it. Works really well and it's held up just fine over 10,000 miles. So that's it for now, guys. All right, remember to rat on. garden tomatoes they're the best <laughs> just plant some tomatoes in, in the ground just do it easy just throw, a tomato the throw a tomato in the ground it'll grow <laughs>